All of y'all are fucked up. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Mai and I'm sick. Ah! It's not I promise. I just have a cold. I caught a cold over Christmas. But I am sick. And today's also BTV Tuesday. BTV is a series on my channel where I put my makeup on and we talk about an episode of a TV show. It's been mostly cartoons, but we can switch it up if you want. And today... <laughs> I'm so sick y'all. Today we are watching season 1 episode 10 of Brace Face called Driving Miss Sharon. I know you guys have been putting requests in the comments and I will get to them. I was preparing for one episode but I didn't that you guys requested but I haven't had time to fully prepare for it because I've been laid up like my nose is all scabby from blowing it like it's been a lot so bear with me this week we're watching Brace Face again and it's more of Sharon being so stupid. Y'all, I am fighting for my life. Like, even the side of my face has scabs from it being like raw from me blowing my nose with like hard ass paper towels because my mom didn't have tissues at her house. So let's get started. Oh, and I think I'm gonna include now where you can watch this. I don't wanna say that the entire series is on the platform that you're currently watching and get anyone in trouble with Teletoon and copyrights, but that's one place where you can watch it. Or you can download the free app Tubi and watch it where I have been watching it on Tubi. I know you're not gonna see this, but Alicia Silverstone, I commented on your TikTok page. Why did you voice share it for seasons one and two? and then leave but you were still the executive producer for season three and like i have a thing with voices where i can hear I, any little difference i can hear it like in the new animaniacs dot has the same voice actress but her voice is pitched down and i know it's probably because she aged but i can hear it and it bothers me why did you do that alicia Alice alicia is how she pronounces her name she also verified that on tiktok let's get started so the episode begins and Sharon and her brothers and her mom are in the car and her brother Adam is learning to drive and it's snowy outside Which is first of all y'all are in Canada. Second of all, why are you learning to drive in the snow? I don't e I don't want to say I'm an experienced driver. I almost hit something every day literally last night I almost hit a whole person That's not that's not a flex or something to brag about but it happened and I'm really sorry I didn't hit him though but like, I, I don't even like driving in the snow and I have a Jeep. This, they were like a little hatchback or a little station, a station wagon. They were in like a little car in the snow in Canada. Why are you learning to drive in these conditions? So they're swerving and Sharon's like, um, I'm fighting for my life back here. Why are you shit? And he's like, well, I'm driving, I'm learning how to drive. My driver's test is soon. What are you gonna do? And then he almost hits a truck and then the mom is like, be nice, he's going for his license today. Today? He just almost hit a truck just now. And he's going for his license today? Maybe he needs some more lessons. This is coming from a person who took their driver's test four, four times before they passed. I think I have good insight on this topic. And then he hits a guy and then they don't check on him! Like they hit a guy in like one of those snowman like poofy suits and they just don't check on him. He just drives off. And he's like there's padding in those suits and he drives off. Get this man out of, put this man on the bus. So at school like it's the winter games and Sharon's playing hockey and you know uh, what's his name? Connor's videotaping, Maria's playing, Alden's playing and like she is just has so much sports anxiety about you know not miss not hitting the puck in the net i am not a hockey person i'm sorry y'all plus my head is cloudy i'm sick so like connor is videotaping the game and they're talking about how the videotape is for the video yearbook so connor just has his camera around while they're doing the winter sports stuff and they're going through all these winter sports and sharon is just failing like she's not doing well at any of them and she's just like really down on herself because like 
she knows she could do it she's just not like pushing herself to do it so Sharon and Maria are talking about how Sharon has to go back to the orthodontist because she has a wire poking in her mouth and Maria's like man it's like one wire I could fix that for those of you who had braces I had braces when I was 17 I'm gonna put a picture or like 16 I'll put a picture here if I can find one um it's not one teensy it might be one teensy wire it might really be one teensy wire but the bitches hurt they poke and they hurt and then they give you little sores and you that shit is not fun a teensy wire maria shut up so they're like walking back to sharon's house and she's like that's not a problem i can fix it for you you're not about to fuck around in my mouth no ma'am no ham no turkey and no cheese you're not about to fuck around in my mouth Cause like, you know those people who be, like I know you see them posts of those people who do like, like braces at home. Like I could do your braces for you. Like not certified in anything at all. And then their teeth be turned out like well, like squares. Like it just goes. So as they're walking up to the house, Aaron is backing out of the driveway and he's like, yo, what's up shorty? Look at this. Boom. Boom. I got a license. I'm a licensed man now. You can't tell me nothing. And like, honestly, he hit a person, almost hit a truck. He was swerving. Like, how did you get... It took me four times... Technically, in the earlier in the episode, they said it was his third time getting his license. It took me four times to get my license. This man hit a person. I haven't hit no people yet. Except for... Well, I didn't hit him, but I almost did. I was mad close, y'all. And he goes... If mom gets home early, tell that shorty I'm out. I went for a drive up a license, nigga. You can't tell me nothing. Drive it off like he's hot shit. And Sharon feels even more down on herself because like, damn, Aaron is a shit, Aaron. Adam is a shit driver and he got his license, but I can't even play like a few winter sports and win. And then she like looks at the window and then she sees her little brother whose name I forget, but fun fact, he's played by Michael Sarah. I think that's my, like one of Michael Sarah's first roles. I think that's so fucking cool. I wish I could remember the character's name though. And she's like, but he's like a piano prodigy. So she looks in the window and he's playing the piano. And she's like, ah, the successful people all around me and I'm not one of them. <laughs> and she kind of says like, it makes her feel like shit cause it feels like she can't do anything. So they go into the garage and Maria finds some pliers and she's like, I will fix that in your mouth, shorty. Like that little wire, that ain't nothing, I got you. So she finds some like regular ass pliers from like a toolbox, that's disgusting. As Maria is about to reach into her mouth, the garage door opens and Aaron, I keep saying Aaron, Adam like skirts back in there and he's and, like, it startles Sharon and she screams and he's like, relax shorty. You see this license? Hold on. You see this license? I'm a pro now. Play with it or stay with it, bitch. And he's like, you know, I got the hands, the hands eye coordination, shorty. Unlike you, I heard you was flopping all winter sports. I heard you was flopping at hockey, at skiing, at ice skating. I heard you was a big flop. Just making her feel like straight shit. And you don't have no trophies on it yet, so because you're a failure. <laughs> Like, damn, you want to slap her in the face too? My God, some people aren't good at some things. I'm not good at sports. I'll whoop your ass at tennis though. But I'm not good at sports. And she was like, you know, he's right. I'm a loser at school. I'm a loser in my family. And like, I start to feel bad for her. Hold it, hold on to that feeling because we won't soon. So as Maria reaches into her mouth with those dirty, disgusting pliers onto her mouth, the as like the pliers hit her braces, like it goes zit, 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 zit. and then the garage door shuts and they're like, whoa, what was that? And then Sharon touches the wire to her mouth again and then the car turned on. And then her ass gets in the car. She's like, I'm sick of being a coward. I wanna be able to get up and do things. So she gets in the car. Mind you, this girl's gotta be like, 12, 13, maybe. And then she backs out of the driveway or out of the garage. And she's like, we're just gonna do a quick ride around the street. And it's not gonna be nothing, it's gonna be cool. So uh, Connor sees her and he has like the video camera in his hand cause I guess they're neighbors. And he's like, uh, what you doing? 
and he's like, oh, hey, Connor, get in. And then Connor gets in. Connor, what are you doing? So, like, Connor's in the back seat, and he's, like, filming it, and they're like, oh, man, this is so cool. This is gonna be, like, the cool shots. And Sharon's like, make sure you edit out the part that has my face in it so that, like, sorry, I'm getting text messages, so that, like, uh, they don't see that it's me driving because I'm not supposed to be driving. And then, like, Connor's in the backseat getting a little scared because, of course, Sharon doesn't know what she's doing because she's fucking 12. But, like, it's still kind of cool that Sharon has the car. So they're just, like, driving around where all the people in school are to be like, look at me, bitch. I'm hot because I'm driving. And you're walking, loser. And, like, they drive past Nina Harper, like, Sharon's bully. And Nina's like, you're driving? And Sharon feels like hot shit. I would, too. And she, as she's driving, she realizes, like, she doesn't know how to do shit. So, like, she's, like, not turning. Like, she's running through red lights. She's swerving. And she's kind of freaking out a little bit. And she slides on the snow, like, down, like, a little cliff, like, embankment thing. And hits the back of a tree. And dents up her mama's car. They get into, like, a little mini accident. They, back, they backed up into a tree. And then, like, she finally finds the brakes after. So she, like, pulls off and then goes straight home. When she pulls into the garage, she's like, oh god, I hope it's not that bad. And then she looks at the car and it's fucked up, queen. Like, you fucked that shit up. So she just closes the garage door and goes upstairs. I'm glad the only car I ever fucked up was mine. Because... Oh, I lied. I definitely hit somebody's car. Hold on, real quick. I was an inexperienced driver driving a car that was too big. I pulled into a spot and I took off somebody's side mirror on like some old dingy fucked up car. The lady was so sweet when she came out to the car she's like it happens. It's no big deal. Like she was so nice to me. And then when I go and get a new car, the car that I have now, this unrelated, getting the new car was unrelated. The old car I had was just fucked up. I try to get my own insurance and they say that the, when I got into that accident, this bitch filed over $3,000 in damages on that car. So if I try to get my own insurance, it's gonna be like $700 a month. Don't you just love New York? So Sharon's upstairs like, what am I gonna do? Mom's gonna come home and she's gonna find it. And then she hears her mom screaming for Adam because of course Adam's the only one like who's permitted to drive. Why would anybody else be driving? And she's like, you had your license for one fucking day. For one day and you fucked my car up. And he's like, shorty, I went around the block. I have no idea what you're talking about. And she's like, oh, and you're a liar now too? Like, how else would this would have happened? Like, he's like, mom, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I went right around the block. She's like, I had a set of keys. You had the other set of keys. There are two sets of keys. How else would this happen? No car for three months since you want to lie to people. And she ha he has to work off the cost of getting it fixed. So like chores, extra chores around the house too. And Sharon is watching from upstairs and doesn't say anything. She says nothing. She keeps her mouth <laughs> zipped. She said like, I felt bad for Adam, but like if I told the truth, I would feel even more bad with the punishment that I got from mom. So back at school, Maria's like, are you, are you all right? Like, are you grounded as fuck? And she's like, no, like, my mom thinks Adam did it. And Maria's like, and you kept your mouth shut? And she's like, well, I'm waiting for the right time to tell my mom that it was me. She's like, okay, well, when is that? She's like, I don't know, like the next lifetime. And then she turns around and everyone's whispering like, oh my God, Sharon, she's so fucking hot. She was driving, she's like a bad bitch. Oh my God, I love Sharon. And some kid asks for her autograph, bro, and she's, eating it up with a spoon, bro. And she's just like so happy that she's cool and Maria's standing back looking at her like, is she for real? Like, y'all, this is some BS right now. So at Life Cycles, if y'all don't know, Life Cycles is like a smoothie bar slash laundry mats. Connor and Maria are talking and they're like, she's, not only is she like eating all of this up, but she keeps adding to the lie to make herself sound cool and it's super fucked up because she crashed so her like mom's car and is letting 
Adam, I keep saying Aaron, take the blame for it. Like Sharon walks in and people are like applauding her cause she's so cool and she's like bowing and shit. Sharon's like drinking coffee now. She's like getting invited to cool parties. And then Connor and Maria are like, you should tell your mom what happens. And she like laughs in their face. And she's like, guys, I thought about it. And like, it's just gonna, nope, I'm gonna let this fame of popularity run its course and everyone's gonna forget about what happened. Shorty, no one is going to forget about the bill when it comes to fixing the car. No one is going to forget about the insurance going up. Like, you got a little two seconds of, like, high school, middle school, not even high school, middle school fame. And you got, like, all up in your head. So, back at home, Sharon's watching TV and, like, she's like, Adam, come sit down. And he's like, uh, no, I have so much chores to do and, like, you know... No, it's not even worth having fun anymore because I have no car, no friends, no nothing. She's like, I've never seen you so down. And he's like, I've never seen you so up. Um, and she's like, it's not fair that you have to take the blame for this. And he's like, you're right. I'm going to investigate. And she's like, well, actually, I have something to talk to you about. And he's like, I don't have time. I'm going to investigate. And she's like, well, I tried, but I'm not about to chase him down, so I'm gonna let him investigate. Grimy. Aaron and, oh my god, Adam and Josh are like trying to investigate, see what happens. And then upstairs, Sharon, Maria, and Connor are looking back at the footage of the Winter Games. And they're talking about taking healthy risks and, you know, how she could improve her sportsmanship. So they're going through all the footage that Connor took for the video yearbook. And there is some footage of the crash in there. And then Sharon gets like, hella pissed. She's like, you videotaped that? And then she tries to reach for the tape to destroy it. And she's like pissed off that he taped it. So Josh and Adam are like approaching their mom with theories as to like what happened to the car. Her, their mom is like, all this to avoid responsibility. Like she's like, until you can accept responsibility for what happens, um, you are not getting your license back or the keys back. And you're involving your little brother. Um, you're doing too much. So Sharon like steals the cassette tape, cassette y'all. We go back and throws it out and then she like feels guilty and takes it out of the trash so when she gets home adam is like doing his beautiful minds board like trying to connect the pieces to figure out what the hell happened and sharon's like i could tell you what happened let's pop this in the, the cassette player so like they watch it together and adam's like oh my god like i knew it wasn't me like why did you say anything and he's like pissed as he should be Go off King and he's like, why would you let mom think that like I smashed up the car when it was you? And she's like, I don't know, I guess I was just like enjoying the fame or whatever. She's like, I just figured that, you know, if you were, if we like switch the roles, like you would do the same thing to me. And like, I'm younger, I would get in worse trouble. And then he goes, you're right. I would have done the same thing to you. All of y'all are fucked up. So in the end, she gives herself a speech about building up her confidence and how she's grounded for the next six months. And she has plenty of time to think about how to build up her confidence. First of all, let me set up for this. <clears throat> I don't give a fit knock about Sharon's confidence. I care about her being honest and telling the truth, not fucking up people's cars for fun, and just overall being a good person. Like, I don't understand, I don't understand. How could she just let him do, like, take the blame for that? And like, not feel bad, cause she was parading around like she was hot shit. Like, like, I'm going down, down, baby. Yo, street in a rage, but like, killing it. Like, she swore she was the hottest shit. And let her brother do chores, cook, clean. Like, if I was their mom included in all that, like, chore shit, I would be like, oh, and by the way, you have to do shit for your brother. You gotta clean his room and do his laundry and cook his meals whenever he wants for the next month. Because why would you do that to him? Like crashing a car is not like a little whoops, a little oopsie, like, it's something that costs a ton of money. And like, if someone fucked up my car, I'd be very upset. I'd be extremely upset. And Sharon is treating it like, like they brat like they broke a tv like a tv is a couple hundred dollars if you get fixed 
or it's a couple hundred dollars you can get a new one or like they dropped a couple dishes it's a car cars are expensive they cost a lot of money to repair and to fix what if it caused like even more damage than like just what was on the surface just like some bumps and bruises like what if you got hurt what if your friends got hurt like more to the situation that like it could have been so much worse and she was just like i'm hot shit because i was driving i'm a bad bitch can't tell me nothing i was driving like oh my god just so rude like it's not it's not even it's beyond rude it's just so like no concern for other people's feelings no one else's health like nobody got out the car and was like are you guys okay you just went home and like told your friends like oh man i'm gonna be in so much trouble you if my mom heard that when i was 12 if i was 12 years old and my mom heard that i was in the car with my friends and my 12 year old friend was driving and my 12 year old friend crashed i'm never seeing you again my mom will not let me over to your house again like that you put people's lives in danger like fuck a car like your friends were in the car like you could have seriously injured them you could have seriously injured you but you were like oh man i'm hot shit i'm driving i'm swerving i'm crashing and then to be pissed that connor got it on camera like you should be glad that he got it on camera like i just don't understand like how are Connor and Maria, especially Connor, still friends with this girl? She is horrible. I'm sorry, y'all. We're going to have to cut this one short because I got to go lay back down and I got to get this video. I'm literally filming, editing, and uploading all in the same day. And I got to get this video up before 3.30. But what I do want to say to y'all is, what the fuck? I said 450 subscribers by the end of of the year why are we inching towards a thousand y'all really fuck with the kid like that and i fuck with y'all so hold up to say thank you for getting me to a thousand subscribers before the new year i'm doing a giveaway i'm gonna add some more shit to it so don't come at me but right now i'm giving away a third generation amazon echo dot uh, I'm a dis I know I'm sick. I'm gonna disinfect the box before I send it out. I promise. I might like, give y'all like a cute little gift card or something, like a little Target gift card, and like maybe some cartoon merch or something. I gotta add to it. We'll talk about it next week. But thank you guys so much. I'm so appreciative. Like y'all really have no idea how much fun I have doing these and how much fun I have just talking shit with y'all. And like every time I see y'all comment, I get a little excited inside because I'm like, what are we gonna talk about today? What inputs do y'all have for me? But um, yeah, we're doing a little um, a little giveaway. Next week, I'll have more details and probably more items as to what we could do for the giveaway. But I'm definitely giving away an Amazon Echo Dot. So there's that. <sighs> All right, I'm out of breath from talking so much. Y'all know I can't talk. You, you can hear that I'm congested. So I would just say thank y'all for getting me to where I'm at. Like, I'm very, very appreciative. Um, I'm gonna try to get up either a Thursday or a Saturday video this week. I took the weekend off. One, because I was sick. Two, because it's Christmas. I wanted to spend time with my family. But we're back to our regularly scheduled programming. Um, if you see me on Thursday, it's, I'm probably still gonna be sick. So, do if that bothers you, comment it, and I will just not film. I'll take this the rest of this week off too. But, oh my god, I'm dying. <laughs> thank you guys so <laughs> Fuck. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. I'm so happy that, like, y'all really fuck with the videos. And, you know, like, it's so hard to be consistent when it feels like I'm talking to a void. But knowing that, like, you guys enjoy what I put out and want to see more of what I put out, like, it really does mean a lot to me because like i don't know i don't want to get sentimental because i'm a crier i cry at fucking everything which is why i don't want to watch series finales yeah if you guys want to stay updated on what's happening on the channel i promise you i post everything 
everything any update you'll possibly need is on instagram usually in my instagram stories i give i do polls what do you guys want to see i do updates as to when videos are coming out like everything y'all need to know about btv is on instagram so go follow me on instagram and i'll probably see you thursday if i'm not dead thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for all the love and support you guys are literally the sweetest little muffins in the world and i love you guys and i'll talk to you later so <laughs> i uh, first of all we're gonna talk about it in the video i'm sick but I just finished filming. Like, I haven't even started editing yet. And I check my email. And one of you sweetie pies, your name is Eliana. You drew me. And oh my god. Like, like the sweetest. I swear, when I say y'all are the sweetest little muffins in the whole world. Like, me? You drew me. You took time out of your day to draw me. Like, oh my god. You could have drawn like some fruit or like something, but like you took time to draw me and like send it over. Like, uh, I have no words for how appreciative I am of you guys. Like literally the sweetest, sweetest little cupcakes in the whole world. Oh my God. Like my head is cloudy cause I'm sick. And like, I just don't have the words, but like, oh my God. Thank you so much, Eliana. You're the sweetest, I like, I'm I'm so blown away. Like, I know I keep saying like a lot. I'm sorry, but oh my god, I'm so blown away. Like, thank you so much. Like, it really like warms my heart. <laughs> thank you. Fuck, Eliana.